The, we're also participated and spoke and, and fielded questions at the National Nurses United Town Hall around health care and the VA. You might have heard Fox News talking about it. Um, because there is a myth that all VAs everywhere are broken. Because the idea that if we can starve our public systems, we're seeing this with NYCHA, if we can starve them of budgets and make sure that they can't do their job, then we can say the whole system should be thrown away. And, uh, and I'm not gonna back down from protecting the VA. I'm not gonna back down from saying we should fund it because it's not about throwing away the entire system. It's about hiring the 48,000 vacancies that are necessary to give our veterans the medical care that they deserve. of veterans in New York City. And so when we talk about our veterans communities, we also need to be talking about Bronx and Queens vets too. And, uh, and so it was an extremely animated and emotional town hall and it's one I'm very proud of. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Who are they trying to fix it for? It's the question we gotta ask. And this is who they're trying to fix it for. They're trying to fix the VA for pharmaceutical companies. They're trying to fix the VA for insurance corporations. And ultimately, they're trying to fix the VA for a for profit healthcare industry that does not put people or veterans. There are some things that we're hearing today. There's some themes that we've got coming out. And especially when it comes to the VA, all I can think of is that glass of the brain that my parents always told me growing up was that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm exactly broke. Don't fix it. And that is what, that is the entire open, and that is the entire opening and approach that we have seen when it comes to privatization. Is the idea that this thing that isn't broken, this thing that provides some of the highest quality care to our veterans, somehow needs to be fixed, optimized, tinkered with, until, until we don't even recognize it anymore. And here's the thing, they are trying to but who are they trying to fix it for? It's the question we gotta ask. And this is who they're trying to fix it for. They're trying to fix the VA for pharmaceutical companies. They're trying to fix the VA for insurance corporations. And ultimately, they're trying to fix the VA for a for-profit healthcare industry that does not put people or veterans first. And so we have a responsibility to protect it. Because if it is any community that deserves Veterans should come first in the country they fought to protect. They fought hard to protect us. They are going to come first in a Trump administration. They will be. They will be a part of America first. It will be America first from now on. America first.